So when you guys get together, how does that work? Because if I look back my own experience as a coach, you sit down and you go, right, you put names on a board, you look at the different positions that you've got, who can cover certain positions. Do you, is those the sorts of yeah, very, Yeah, Yeah, no, I mean, I think for most sports it'll be really similar. Um, you know, Steve keeps it a bit flexible sometimes. You know, he'll sometimes say, well, he'll say to me, give me your team, and he'll say to Foles, give me, give, me your, give, me, give me his team, and he'll do his own team. We'll see where the common ground is and where there are differences, and we'll, you know, we'll discuss where the differences are and why, and other times we'll go position, you know, by position. but. You know, a lot of it when you get down, and we're picking 31 man groups now for the most part. It sounds a lot of players, but it actually isn't because it doesn't actually give you the ability to cover every position as much as you would like. Um, you know, particularly when you're going away to a World Cup and there are, there are some injury rules to be fair to everyone. Like, if, you know, if you get someone injured 48 hours from a game, you can't, out, you can't replace them. If you push a guy out of the squad at any stage, he can't be brought back in. The replacement player stays. So, you know, you've got to cover the bases, like, you know, what if we get this injury? Um, you know, um, and, and also, if you get an injury to a, a guy you deem critical, but it might be a one or two game injury and you don't want to put them out of the squad because you want them back, well, how do you cover that? So, you know, all those things, you know, get talked, um, get um, covered. I mean, we want to make sure that we've at least got three in every, three, three people for every position minimum. Um, in theory, that would say 45. It's not. It's that's where your utility value, you know, comes in, and guys playing different positions, and you know, so um, you know, inevitably, um, you know, with the talent we've got, it's it, you know, there'll be a lot of people who are unlucky, but it's, you know, all Black history is littered with people who've been, you know, unlucky to miss out on teams. In terms of the, how much does statistics play in selection? Because I know net, <coughs> it's massive. Yeah. Um, well, other sports like <coughs> basketball, it's huge. Yeah. It's look, we, we look at stats, but we don't fundamentally pick the team on stats because, you know, if we did, people would be really surprised that a black team would pick. <laughs> um, and, you know, while it, it sits behind it, you know, I, I saw it some recently without going to the names, and one of our premier players was ranked down the bottom. It's like, well, if we picked on stats, <laughs> he wouldn't get in the team. <laughs> so it's a bit, you know, so look, you can read into it what, what you like. I think um, we, we clearly, um, you know, back our intuition quite a bit. I mean, the guys have been involved in rugby for a long time. Stephen Fozzie have been coaching for a long time. They've both played the game at a very high level. Um, you know, and while we, we look at, you know, we get into the, the skill set details and all that, you know, we back a, a bit of our intuition. And, and mm. part of the intuition is, is the mental capacity of these players to handle that level of the game. Can they step up? Because um, not everyone can. You know, because it's a, it's a big step, and sometimes it's 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 pretty daunting. Um, and and what we need to get to know players. I mean, one of the most valuable things that that we get the chance to sit through is when we visit the franchises, and and you know, um, Steve and Fozzy and the medical team. We all get a chance to to uh, they run their their um, their expertise over the players, and you know, they get in, in, into an interview situation with their franchise coaches with us, which is all sort of coordinated beforehand. And, and you get to understand players better. So, you know, if we're looking from the outside without knowing anybody, that's the cover of the book. You want to get to know the content, go and engage with them. And, and I've had one or two players without naming them, but I thought, wow, OK, I had my doubts looking at the cover. Now I got to know the book a little, got inside the, the content of it. Well, you can make it. I've got no doubt you'll make it. So those, 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 um, those little things that, that happen, you know, are very valuable in putting together that selection jigsaw.